Hello, hello, it's Tamplet here. Welcome to a collaboration project between Tamplet and SETI's Math First on Hong Kong International Math Olympiad questions. For this one, find the minimum value of the expression absolute value of x plus 1 plus absolute value of x minus 2 plus absolute value of x minus 3. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, whenever we have absolute values, we tend to try to remove them. Now, well, we can't literally just remove them, so we have to check for uh, values in certain regions, and it concerns the critical values of the expression. So for the first step, let's try to make the expression equal to a function of x. So f of x equals the given expression. Now, we have three critical points. We simply just uh, make each of these three equal to zero. Now, they're critical points because uh, for example, value in the first expression, values less than negative 1 would make this expression uh, inside the absolute value uh, function be uh, negative. And if it's greater than negative 1, it's going to be a positive value. So when talking about absolute values, fun absolute values um, we take critical points um, just by taking the inner function or the, val the expression inside the absolute value to be 0. So similarly, we can get that the critical uh, point for this part is 2, and the, for the third one, it's going to be 3. So we have three critical points in total, which is negative 1, 2, and 3. So those are the three things that are highlighted at the bottom. And we want to check the part, or like the value, or the expression that corresponds to each region. Now before that, let's try to simply get uh, the values of f of x at each of these uh, points. So for example, for x equals negative 1, we can try to substitute. If x equals negative 1, if x equals negative 1, well, obviously, absolute value of x minus 1, that's going to give 0. This one, absolute value of x minus 2, that becomes absolute value of negative 3, so that's 3, plus absolute value of negative 4, so it's going to be 4. So if x equals negative 1, we have 7. So we would know that, um, if we were to graph this, we would know that negative 1, uh, comma 7 will be on the graph of f of x. Now you can try for 2 and 3. So if I substitute values of x equals 2 and x equals 3, you would get that 2 comma 4 will be on the graph. And if I substitute 3 here, over here, you, you're going to see that 3 comma 5 will be on the graph. Now the rest is just uh, checking all the values in between. Now let's try to uh, check the values uh, for values greater than 3 first. So if I have x greater than uh, 3, let me just put this down here a little bit. If, uh, if, I, if I test values greater than 3, we would easily see that um, the things inside the absolute values are going to be positive. So we can simply remove the absolute values because the absolute value of a positive number, it's simply the number inside. So we can immediately remove the absolute value. So uh, for the values of x that are greater than 3, the expression is, uh, resembles x plus 1 plus x minus 2 plus x minus 3, or simply 3x minus 4. So it's going to be a line with a positive slope. So we can roughly sketch that as follows. So we have a line with a positive slope for values greater than 3. So roughly like that as a sketch. Now, since we're just uh, working with linear coefficients, as you can see here, uh, we could e easily conclude that um, the graph would look something like this. Again, you can verify it on your own. You can try to test uh, values in each region. For example, uh, for in this part, between negative 1 and 2. Well, if I have x to be between negative 1 and 2, x plus 1 is positive, x minus 2 and x minus 3, they're both negative. So it will resemble the graph of well, we just simply remove the absolute value for the first one, and then we negate uh, the x minus 2 and the x minus 3. So it would resemble a graph of 6 minus x, and it makes sense because it's a slope with a, sorry, it's a line with a negative slope. So that's what you're going to see. And you can also see that uh, for values between 2 and 3, it would correspond to something like x plus 2. So that's the thing you're going to get. And for the values less than negative 1, you would end up in a function um, negative 3x plus 4. So you can see, you, you'll be able to see that 
this will be the rough sketch of the graph of f of x. So like five, one, two, four uh, lines that are connected via these three points as highlighted. So that will be our rough sketch of f of x. And just from our rough sketch, we can clearly see that the minimum value happens at when x equals 2 over here, as you can see here. Because, well, we have a negative slope here, a negative slope here, a positive slope here, and a positive slope here. And we have the absolute minimum of f of x at 2 comma 4. Therefore, the minimum value of the expression should be 4 at x equals 2. Again, uh, at x equals 2, this is not really part of the problem, but this is just an uh, addition uh, to further say or to conclude that our answer is indeed 4, because the minimum value happens at x equals 2. Anyways, we have 4 as our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!